Things have come to a pass where lying sounds like truth, truth like lying. Today's political situation offers nothing but despair when it comes to truths and lies. It is not always easy to distinguish truths from lies. But given my background in philosophy, I happen to know a bit of logic. Don't worry, we won't use any crazy symbols in this video. I thought the very least I could do would be to tell you about various logical fallacies, so you could recognize logically flawed arguments. Initially, I didn't want to use any political material. My aim is to provide you with the appropriate tools to be able to spot logical fallacies in any argument. But it just so happens that Trump's Twitter feed is an endless stream of fallacies. What are fallacies? Fallacies are argument structures which appear to be correct and convincing but are actually wrong. We will use Trump's tweets as examples of such flawed argument structures. Let's begin. Fallacy number one. Argumentum ad hominem. We are starting with something easy. This is one of the most common logical fallacies, so it should be easy to spot. An ad hominem fallacy is committed if person A attacks person B rather than the argument made by person B. See if you can spot the fallacy. Fallacy number two. Argumentum ad populum, also known as appeal to common belief, is a fallacy in which a conclusion is believed to be true because many people say or believe it is true. See if you can spot the fallacy. Fallacy number three. False dilemma. This is a fallacy in which only two alternatives are presented when in reality there are more possibilities. Fallacy number four. Argumentum in terrorem, also known as appeal to fear, is a fallacy in which the alternative is presented as something terrifying in order to frighten the audience into acceptance of a conclusion. Fallacy number five, appeal to common sense. This fallacy happens when a person claims that the conclusion is just common sense. Fallacy number six. Argumentum excellentio, also known as argument from silence, is a fallacy in which a conclusion is drawn based on the silence of the opponent. Fallacy number seven, argumentum ad baculum, also known as appeal to the stick, is a fallacy in which force or threat is used in the argument. Fallacy number eight, appeal to probability. This fallacy is committed when a probable statement is treated as certain. Just because something is possible, it doesn't follow that it is the case. Fallacy number nine. Argumentum ad verecundium, also known as appeal to authority, is a fallacy in which a person's authority is pointed out to reinforce the conclusion. Fallacy number 10. Proof by assertion. 
This happens when a statement is repeated over and over again until it becomes accepted as true. Fallacy number 11. Historian's fallacy. This fallacy is committed when a person judges the past based on some information that was simply not available in the past. In other words, you are judging the past under the light of new information. Fallacy number 12. Counterfactual fallacy. This fallacy occurs when a person hypothesizes that A would have happened if B was the case. This claim is made while there is absolutely no evidence to support the relation between A and B. Or we just simply don't know what would have really happened if B was the case. Fallacy number 13. Argumentum ad lapidem, also known as appeal to the stone, is a fallacy in which something is said to be false or absurd without validly explaining why it is so. Fallacy number 14. Poisoning the well. This fallacy is committed when person A attacks the character or the reputation of person B so that whatever claim person B makes would be interpreted as false. Fallacy number 15. Notable effort. This fallacy is committed when a person believes the outcome must be good or true just because of all the hard work. Fallacy number 16. False conjunction, also known as package deal fallacy, is a fallacy which assumes two separate things must necessarily go together. Fallacy number 17. Equivocation. In this fallacy, the conclusion relies on at least one word with multiple meanings as it jumps from one meaning to the next during the argument. Fallacy number 18. Whataboutism. This is a fallacy in which a person tries to shift the attention from the problem in question to another problem in order to dodge the bullet. Fallacy number 19. Retrospective determinism. This fallacy is committed when something is believed to be inevitable because X happened. Fallacy number 20. Subverted support. This fallacy is committed when an argument is based on something that is not true.